Inspector Lieutenant Carson. Homicide Bureau. Lewis speaking. Got a tip for you on the murder of Lieutenant Carson. Yeah? Pick up Tommy Shea. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Nothing on me. Mm -hmm. No, nothing but this. What have you been doing tonight, Tommy? Playing poker with some friends. Is there any law against that? I suppose you won this in the card game. Hey, Tommy, what goes on here? It's okay, Danny. Get out of here, kid. Leave him stay. He's my brother. I suppose you're taking me in because I'm carrying something to protect my winnings. Yeah. At the worst, it's 30 days. Oh, here, take this and give it to Mom. Tell her I'm going out of town on a trip. I got you. And remember, don't get her worrying again. Okay. Well, come on. Let's get it over with. Well. I tell you, I was playing cards. Me and four other fellas. What were you doing with that on you? You can't arrest a fellow for pulling a job that didn't come off. No. Yesterday, I bumped into a guy I met just once. On a loft job five years ago. Uh, Denver Collins. You know him? No. Go ahead, Tom. Denver asked me if I want to come in on a filling station job. I, I was broke. Honest, I, I did look for a legitimate job. Skip that. Okay. Tonight, I fixed to meet him at a certain address he gave me. When I got there, Denver and three other guys was playing poker. Who were they? I don't know. Uh, they call themselves uh, Eddie and, and Joe and Smitty. Seen them before. Well, uh, Denver says it's too early to pull off the job. And, Eddie tells me to park my gun in the hall closet and get in the game, so I did. I thought you said you were broke. I was. Denver staked me, and all the luck ran to us. We were so far ahead, Denver said, there's no use of breaking a good run. We can put off the job at some other time. So we kept right on playing. Well, you broke your run when you left in the middle of... Me? No, I never left that lucky chair till the game was over. Did anybody leave the game? Sure. Uh, we ran out of beer, and Denver Collins went out to get some. How much longer did you play? A few hands. Then we cashed in. I got my gun out of the closet and went home. You know the rest. Here they are. How do they check? Yep. And you're sure that this is your gun? Did I say it wasn't? Farley, take Shay downstairs and book him. On suspicion of murder. Murder? Yes, murder. It was a bullet fired from this gun that killed Lieutenant Carson less than three hours ago. You got this all wrong. I didn't do it. Honest, I didn't. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. What are you trying to do to me? Wait a minute. Jones, Smitty, and Shea and me in that card game. And no one named Denver Collins? No. I never heard of Collins, let alone seen him. And when did Tommy Shea leave the card game? A little before midnight. It's a lie! It's a lie! Can't you see he's lying? <laughs> Convicted killer, Detective Carson, was led out to await sentence of death in the city jail. He shouted his protest of innocence. These killers don't get by you, huh, Dad? Well, I only furnished the evidence, son. There was a jury finding him guilty. Well, that settles it, doesn't it? Does it? I wonder. You know, son, the law says it's better that a hundred guilty men go free than to have one innocent man unjustly convicted. Gosh, Dad, you're not telling me Tommy Shea didn't kill Lieutenant Carson. 
You caught him with the same gun. I know, and the district attorney busted his alibi wide open. He's got a record dating back since he was your age. Sure. But he's not a killer. Son, do you mind if I don't take you to the ball game this afternoon? No. Yeah, I got to see a certain man. And he's going to leave town early tomorrow. It's okay, Dad. We'll go on your next day off. Well, you could go along. You could take one of your friends. Never with mind. You. I just soon stay home and work on my radio relay. All right. So long. I'll be seeing you, Dad. See Tommy Shea. Go on, beat it. We don't run sightseeing tours for kids. I got a right to see him. He's my brother. What? Here. This says you and your mother. Why isn't she here? She couldn't come. She's sick. Oh. Right through that door. Wait here. Okay, okay Tommy. Right. Gee, I wouldn't like to do a jolt in here. The big house is even worse. Give a look at the bars. I wonder how long it takes to saw a true one. I can chew my way through them. Go on, try it. Yeah. Here's a nice tender one. <laughs> Tastes like a settlement house steak. Go on, get away from these bars. Oh, and your molecule. Yeah. Go on. I got a cup from the field, you creep. I having one of her bad spells? Oh, no, she, she's fine. Why didn't she come up? She got a hurry call to do some uh, piece work, a shirtwaist. Oh. They uh, said in the paper that they were going to take you to the big house someday this week. Yeah, tomorrow. How's Ma taking it? Might be in, you know. Oh, swell, because she knows you're innocent. And there's that appeal angle to get you a new trial. That's out. It was turned down. You and Mark quit wasting your strength on me. What the lawyers can't do, you can't do. Start trying to help yourselves. What do you mean? We're okay. You're still living on Front Street, aren't you? Yeah, sure, but that doesn't... Well, as long as you're there, you're wrong. Remember that. I don't get you, Tommy. I'm out of the picture, kid, so it's up to you. It's your job to get Ma out of Front Street and get yourself out, too. Say, so what's the matter with Front Street? I'll tell you what's the matter with her. Take a look at me or any other guy in this jail and see what a place like that will do to you. Get out, kid. Any way you can, any way at all. But get out of Front Street. Hey! Look what you're doing, sloppy. You ruined my shine. Come on, you kids keep out of his way. Andrew, straighten up the magazines, will you? Yes, sir. And you, get your feet off the table. What are you in for, Grandpa? 30 days. What you do, vote Republican? Andrews? Are you the brother of something of Emmett Andrews, the bank robber? I am Emmett Andrews. No kid, no kid! Andrews the crook? You ran a cop's ragged, didn't Andrews you? Andrews in this joint? Wait, I tell me, old man, I met you. What are you doing in here? I thought they'd have you in the state pen. I finished my time up there a year ago. What are you in for this time? Begging without a license. A big shot like you? I quit being a big shot when I ran out of money. Time's up, kid. Get you up. We'll spring it yet. Tell Ma. All right, Shane. Come on, son. Take your filthy paws off me. Hello, Lieutenant. What can I do for you? I see Tommy Shea. Privately? Just a minute. Oh, guy. Is Shea back in his cell? Yes, he is. You find him in 342. Hey. Hey, boy. Let him go. Let him go. You got any use for me, have you, Danny? I hate all cops. You especially. Come on. Did you take a good look at those kids? Yeah, why? I got a hunch we'll be seeing them here. About five years. Hello, Tommy. Oh. 
Thank you, officer. Have a cigar, Tom. Not from you. What do you want? I mean, you and around ain't part of the sentence of Judge Gimme. But I'm not here on official business. This is my day off. You picked a funny place to spend it. Well, I'm a funny sort of a cop. For instance, I believe they got the wrong man in jail for the Carson murder. What kind of a build-up is this? No build-up. Except I believe you've been framed. Now, give me any kind of a new lead, and I'll try and talk the DA into reopening the investigation. New lead? <laughs> Everything I know I told in court, and a fat lot of good it did me. Tommy, the night you were playing poker, could you see the closet where you left your gun from your seat at the card table? No, it was in the entry hall. You testified in court, nobody left the room but Collins the night of Carson's murder. That's right. Now, assuming that there was a Denver Collins... If you don't believe there was a Collins and that he was there, you don't believe nothing. So what's the use going on? Forget it, Tommy. Forget it. You said in court that Collins went out about midnight. Yeah, and he was gone maybe 20 minutes. 18 minutes. I walked it. You think it'd do any good to have another look at those rogues gallery pictures? Not a chance. I looked at Rose Gallery pictures till I was blind. Even if I had spotted him, it wouldn't have done no good. I was licked before the trial started, Lieutenant. You see, I come from Front Street. What's that got to do with it? Everything. Go down there, look around. Look at my kid brother and the gang he runs with. I've seen him. Okay, then remember this. There's two kind of kids down there. One kind that don't care and, and the other kind that'll do anything to get out. My kind. So? It takes money to get out. The only way a Front Street kid can get money is to steal. That gives him a record. Every time he's caught, his record gets worse. Then he gets caught in a jam like I did, and his record sends him to the chair. You're all right, guy, Lieutenant, but you're 20 years too late to help me. Jay was fairly tried and fairly convicted. I'll admit that what had considerable weight with the jury was his criminal record. They saw in him a born offender. So would any of the three of us be if we were raised in his environment? <laughs> if this is a crusade for cleaning up the slums. Oh, I'm not trying to be funny. I arrested Tommy Shea for stealing a bicycle when he was 14 years old. Two years later, I pinched him for petty larceny. Why well, send him to the penitentiary for robbery before he was able to vote? Then you admit he's a confirmed lawbreaker. If you mean burglar or thief, yes. But Tommy Shea is not a murderer. If you could bring us any definite proof, Lieutenant. All right. Then reopen the case. Give the man an even break for his life. I don't object to discussing a closed case with you, Lewis, but I definitely resent being told what to do. Oh, I see. You willing to rest on your laurels after sending the man to the chair? That'll do, Lewis. No, it won't. Not for me. You may think this is a noble day's work, but I'm not satisfied. And these are the ends of justice. Lieutenant, leave this room. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you? He did go rather far. But he's one of the best men on the force. He'll be a better one with a bit of discipline. I suppose you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up sticks, seven, eight. Chuck the gate, nine, ten. A big fat hand. How long do I have to yell under this thing, Bobby? You're through now, Cynthia. Bring in the microphone and I'll solder it. What are you fussing with this junk for, Bobby? I'm not fussing with this isn't junk. Go on and play with your dolls. Why aren't you studying to be a detective like your father? I am. Stop bothering me. And why are you wasting your good time playing around? Will you stop babbling? This is detective work on a scientific scale. A listening device, a, a micro... What am I telling you for? You wouldn't understand. Oh, yes, I would.
Turn off the lights, Cynthia. And, uh, and shut the door, will you? Anything from the DA's office? Yeah. They're gonna let you reopen the Shea case? No. Then what did they say? Well, I didn't hear anything directly, but uh, a uniform. Who's it for? For a hot-headed Irishman didn't have sense enough to hold his tongue. What'd they do? Break you? Yeah. I had it coming to me. Well, Dad, they can't do that to you. Give me a coat hanging, will you, son? Well, can't you tell them where to get off? I did. That's why I'm going back in uniform. Or I guess it'll do me good to get out in the open air again. They're not making you a pound a beat. Yeah, a beautiful one. First thing in the morning. Where? Fort Lee Avenue. The end of nowhere. Why, it'll take you two hours to get there and two more to come home. Say, uh, how about getting that coat hanging? Sure. How's it look, Dad? Fine, son, fine. More coffee? No, thank you. Oh, uh, uh, look, I'll do that, Dad. You'll be late. Say, I will at that. Well, thanks, son. Oh, I don't mind. Say, about that Shea case, suppose it had been reopened. How would you have gone about finding the real killer? We're trying to find Denver Collins. You think Collins killed Lieutenant Carson? Oh, I don't know. He might have. But if I don't miss my guess, he knows who did. Where would you look for him? Well, might try Front Street for a starter. Why Front Street? Because that's where Tommy first ran into him. How do I look? Swell. A lot better than you did in plain clothes. <laughs> See you this evening. I say maybe we'll take in a movie after dinner. Swell. Uh, uh, Dad. Wait yeah. a minute. Uh, what does this fellow Denver look like? Why all this sudden interest in Denver Collins? Well, I, I might meet him on the street or somewhere. You never can tell. That's right, you never can. Well, the way Tommy describes him is, he's 35 years old, weighs 150 pounds, five foot ten, got a pockmarked skin, dark hair and eyes, and got a whole nail on the third finger of his right hand. You got it? I think so. Well, if you run into him, just grab him and holler for me. Don't worry, I will. Yeah, and the first of the month. Sure, let's stand good for him. Never mind. I'm not just dumb as you know I am. You phony. Yeah. Just one of you clean your glasses, Fink. How's for hitching a ride out to the park? Ah, uh, go away, Hey, look, a shop street. Hello, Skinny. Hello. Long way from Shop Street, ain't you? No, I'm just running an errand. I won't be here very long. Oh, that's too bad. Don't you like our neighborhood? Yeah, it's swell. Glad you like it. Make yourself at home. Gee, thanks. Yeah, we're double down at the having, ain't we, boys? Yeah. Uh, hey, Moif, check his cap. With pleasure. Oh, cut it out. That's the only cap I got. Check it careful, Murph. 
Nice pitching, Moif, nice pitching. That old eye. Oh, get me my cap. My old man will kill me. You want it back so soon? Yeah. But you just checked it, and we charge a quarter to check caps. I oh, he got a dime. All right, give. Now, get it. Where do you think you're going? Skinny, it was his last dime, too. We sure hate to take it, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute, boys. I got some nice fresh candy. You come in today. Ah, Say, how about me taking a dime and paying me way into the bees, you and letting the rest of you in through the back door? Say, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Come on, uh, guys, let's go. Wait come on. a minute. You stay here till Danny shows. Why does it always have to be me? Tell him where we went. Oh, all right. Oh, excuse me. I thought she was one of them candy snitches. Give me a root beer, will you? Yes, sir. Coming right up. You seen Collins around here lately? Who? Collins. Denver Collins. No. I don't think I know him. Well, maybe you'll remember him if I tell you what he looks like. He stands 5'10", weighs 150 pounds, dark hair and eyes, pockmarked skin, and uh, he's got a horn nail on that finger. Oh, no. I, I don't know that fella. Well, if you see anybody like that, remember him, will you? Oh, you bet I will. I'll drop back tomorrow. Okay. Now, let me see. He's 10 foot 5 with 150 pot marks, and he's got hangnails. Hey! Who's that guy? He's a new customer, and he pays me cash. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for a man named Collins. Denver Collins. I don't know him. Well, thanks. What do you want? I got something to tell you. And I tell you for the last time not to bother me again when I'm eating. Try to get asking where I could find him. Kid, who was it? Me? Where's he now? He's hiking down Front Street. Hey, he's a pretty good size of a guy, Danny. You guy can't handle him? Well, where's the rest of the gang? You're not telling him to leave this block until I got finished eating. I'll show you where they are. Come on. That's a very good description, son. But I haven't seen him. I see. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, you. Yes? Hey, you're looking for Denver Collins. How did you know? Well, mine, how I know. Well, would you? Yeah. Got any idea where I can find him? I'll take care of that later. Let's go where we can talk private. Okay. Here. Right. Hey, lay off. All right, you stop talking. What do you know about Denver Collins, and why do you want him? Go on, spill it, we'll give you the boots. Maybe he's in with the cops. No. Why do you want to find Collins? My father's looking for him. Oh, yeah? Who oh, is your old man? His, his name's Johnson. Chicago Joe Johnson. What's he got with Collins? That's his business. And why don't he come look himself? He can't go parading around that daytime. Let him up. You got a lead on where this guy is? No, have you? I'm doing the asking. But if you find out anything, come and tell me. What do you want with him? His brother's doing a murder rap on account of Collins. Button up. Is Tommy Shea your brother? What if he is? Nothing. Only if we all work together, we might be able to find Collins. Who's we? You, me, all of us. Listen, we don't cut in nobody. Let so. it lay the way it is. Come on, beat it. You heard him. Get out while you're still healthy. All right. And remember, anything you hear, come and tell me. His old man's a lamster. You think he's leveling, Danny? I don't know, but boy, if he ain't.
Hey, monk, the next time you go fishing, don't look for suckers. Oh, hello there. I ain't seen that Collins fella yet. Would you like a root beer or maybe mm, something? Not today. Oh, but I got a nice Excuse sofa. me, will you? Where's Danny Shea? Did you find Collins? Where's Danny? All right. Come on. In it. You go first. Hi, Bottles. Hi, Muggs. Come in. I thought this was for hey, me. Oh, 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 He's got something to tell you, Danny. Sit down. Thanks. You found Collins? No. But I got a lead. What is it? Look, you figure Collins, not Tommy, killed Carson. Why'd he do it? Carson was a cop, wasn't he? Ain't that enough? Not for murder. Well, maybe the heat was on Collins. Maybe Carson was fixing a pinch. That's what I figured. Now, take a look at this. So, cop's wife got a medal, huh? Uh-huh. Let me see that magazine. The Shield, the police magazine. Where'd you get it? From the old man. It's part of his business to know what the cops are doing. Well, go on. What about this? Listen. At the time of his death, Lieutenant Carson was investigating the double slaying of Thomas Osgood and William J. Lawrence, two out-of-town businessmen. whose bodies were found on West Branch Boulevard. That's the heat. You see, Carson was probably going to arrest Collins for that, and Collins shot him. I still don't see what it's getting us. Look, it gives us a lead on Collins. If we knew he killed those two businessmen... They weren't no businessmen. How do you know? I heard my uncle talking about him. He says there was a couple of torpedoes from out of town trying to chisel in on Chick Forster's gambling joints. Is he sure about that? Yeah, his uncle's on the inside. Run yeah. downtown. Oh, well, then it probably was Foster. I'm more likely a stooge. Foster's too smart to do his own dirty work. He'd have some palooka do the job for him. Say, a palooka with the name of Denver Collins? Hey, maybe you ain't so dumb at that. Nothing to it. You know where Foster hangs out? Yeah, at his main joint. But it shut up like a drum in the daytime. Suppose we go down there tonight and look around. We? Oui. Who kissed you in? Well, I brought you the lead. Hey, I... my gang will handle this. You've done your part. Now get going. If you get under the brain wave, come and spill it. Go on, blow. Okay. But if I go this time, I ain't coming back. Maybe we don't let you go. Maybe we work you over first. I got just as good reasons as you for spotting Collins. Maybe better. Only I ain't gonna do all the work. Now, we chip in together, it's no deal. Come on, be smart. Cut me into your mob and we'll go places. I'll, uh, I'll think it over. You'll think it over right now. Hey, fellas, how are we making Johnson one of our mob? We've been doing all right by ourselves. What's he got that we need? A face the storekeepers ain't spotted. Hey, maybe you've got something there. Yeah, we ain't had a Mickey Ross for weeks. How about it? Think you left enough groceries to feed us? Well? If it's grub you want, the old man's got enough stuff in our oh, icebox. No, 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 All right, all right, just set the table and show me the store. I'll take you right to Listen, it. Listen, make sure you don't hook out of his own dump. Leave it to me. worth of stuff. <laughs> what kind of a way is that to buy groceries now? Never mind, just count. 
We'll start here. Hunk of salami. Salami. Twenty cents. Some spuds. Spuds a nickel. Can of beans. Twelve cents. Can of soup. Can of pineapples. Can of tomatoes. Glass of jelly. Sardines. Make it two on the sardines. Sweet pickles. Soda crackers. All right, who is it and which way did he go? It's all right, officer. It's just a false alarm. Well, then why all the yelling? Well, that's the way he wanted it, and the customer's always right. No shoplifter, he's a magician. Well, what do you say, is he in? That's a right, job. Job. Hey, the yeah. next time you're out with your show, you empty, pick me up a Rolls Royce, will you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Monk, yeah, cut the stall. Get a fire under the Mickeys, will you? Sailor, you open the cans. Murph, you and Fubber get the other stuff ready. Come on. My favorite fruit. Money fine pie, son. Make it yourself? Sure. With a little help from the bakery. Say, Dad, what do you know about Chick Foster? Well. He owns several big gambling joints. He's been brought to headquarters several times for questioning on different things, but he's never been convicted. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Do you know if Carson suspected him of killing Lawrence and Osgood? Why don't we put that idea into your head? Well, I heard the murdered men were a couple of gangsters trying to cut in on Chick Foster's gambling racket. Yeah. I suppose Foster's got a lot of fellas working for him. Oh, some beauties. Uh, any of them look like the description of Denver Collins? Hold on there, hold on there, Sherlock Holmes. What's all this leaking? Yeah. Right ahead, son. Well, do you mind if I go out tonight? There's a fellow I promised I was going to help. I'm no, 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 right ahead, son. I got to see a certain man myself. I don't know Collins' description. Yeah, yeah sure. 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 Get going. Okay. Hey, hey you want to a monkey act, mister? It's only a dime. Come on, don't be a tight one. Give us a dime. We'll give you a small monkey act. Come on, Poncho. Oh, 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 I told you, guys. Oh, what you are you doing? What do you want? We're trying to get a dime for you. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. Stay, stay. All right, all right. We'll go. Yeah, we're awfully sorry, Mr. Wait a minute, do it. won't happen again. Want to get... We got a message for a guy named Collins. Where can we find him? Get out, Earl. Call the manager. Just the guy we want to see, sugar. You asked for it. Say, so, babe, what time do you get off work tonight? Ten minutes after you're doing kindergarten. What's the trouble, Mildred? Them. How did you get in here? We got a message for a guy by the name of Collins. There's nobody with that name here. Well, a guy stopped us down the street and said we could find him here. Go on, get out of here. Not until we see Collins. No? Bring those kids here. It's all right, folks. Go back to your tables. Well, boys, what can I do for you? We got a message for a guy by the name of Collins. Denver Collins. Follow me, please. Now, what's all this about a message? Is your name Collins? I'm Mr. Foster. 
Well, we was told not to say nothing to nobody but Collins. Who told you that? Guy down the street. He stops us, slips us a buck, and says we'll find a guy named Denver Collins in here. I never heard of him. Anyone by the name of Collins among our guests? No, there isn't. Looks like you boys have got the wrong place. This is the Club Foster, ain't it? Forget it, Danny. Sorry we bothered you. Wait a minute. Maybe you better give me the message, just in case Collins or whoever he is shows up later. Why not? Let him have it. Like I said, tell Collins he's hot. The cops have reopened the Shea case. And you didn't know the fellow who gave you that message? I never saw him before in my life. Me neither. He just gave you a dollar and told you to come here and find a fellow named Denver Collins. That's right. Let's see the dollar. Why, uh, I... Uh... Here it is. Do you think we were lying? Show them out, Brad. What do you think? Was Collins there or wasn't he? I don't know. All we can do is sit tight and... Lewis, has he got anything on you? Why, yeah. He's the guy that sent Tommy up. He's a dirty double cross and heel. He'd rat in his own. You can't say that about huh? Hello, Lieutenant. Hello, Brad. Oh, I haven't seen you in, let's see, uh, five years, wasn't it? What are you doing here? Oh, just, just looking around. Help us out. There's nothing around here you can't see. Thanks. Yes? Just looking around, eh? We'll keep him downstairs. told me that only one person knew you as Collins. That's right, Tommy Shea, the man we framed. He met me on the one job when I used it. A couple of kids were here a few minutes ago. Said a fellow gave them a message to be delivered here to Denver Collins. What did it say? Said the Shea case has been reopened and for you to lay low. I don't get it. Must be a gag of some kind. Maybe. But Lewis is downstairs now. Downstairs here? Yeah. Better stay out of that guy's sight. Yeah, and keep out of it. I find out what's behind all this. Use the back stairs. Stand aside, Brad. You got a membership card? No. Well, right good evening, Lieutenant. Or should I say patrolman? I understand you're pounding a beat now. That's right. That's my daytime job. After hours, I do what I want. With or without a search warrant? No, let's talk that over upstairs. Not tonight, copper. I'm not keeping open house for harness bulls. Listen, Foster, you'll go quietly or shall we? Again. Anytime. I may do that, boys. It'll be a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. neighborhood, son.
Why, I, uh... I was well, just... it's time you were home in bed. I was just going to, Dad. Come on, come on. Get in the car. Chicago Joe Johnson. That dirty double-crossing liar. And I might have gotten somewhere. But now the gang will find out you're my dad. Listen, son. I appreciate you trying to help me. Honest, I do. But you're not old enough to fool around with men like Chick Forster. But if I'm going to join the force someday, like we said, why... It won't do. You keep away from Front Street. Oh, gee. What's up? Wait a minute. There he is. There's Bob's address. Go get him and bring him here. Bob? You mean that Dick's kid? Yeah, we need his help. Remember spotted Collins last night? Yeah, but Bob's on Madison. I know, I know, but Bob's okay. So bring him here. I'm on my way. You mean we're gonna work with a compass, son? No, we're gonna work on him. Yeah, but you just told Sailor Sure, that... so his mug won't tip off what we really want Bob for. Go. Just a minute. Hello, Santa. Hi. Hey, uh, Danny says he wants to see you right away. What are you trying to do, kid me? No, I'm a square. Well, uh, didn't Danny tell you about my dad? <laughs> Being a cop, sure. Hey, but Murph spotted Collins. Murph what? Yeah, he seen him come out of forces joint and tail him to a house. Danny says he needs you right away and the... Hey, who are you calling? My dad. Nothing doing. Danny says he wants to see you, not your own man. I don't care what Danny says. All right, all right. But if your dad's dead, Danny won't show you where Collins is. Listen, sir. Arresting Collins means as much to my dad as it does to Danny. He was broke off a homicide squad for claiming Tommy was innocent and trying to have the case reopened. Baloney. No cop would do that. My dad did. You'll find him pound on the beat on Fordley Avenue, between 110 and 123rd. Say. Hey, if you're really let go see for yourself. Then come down and tell Danny. I'll see you at the hideout. Wardley Avenue, huh? Hiya, Murph. Hiya, Bob. Is Danny in the hangout? Uh-huh. Sailor told me you spotted Collins. Here, I was watching the back door of Forces joint, and a guy answering Collins' description comes out. So I tell him to place on Erie Street. Gee, that's swell. I don't know what it is or not. You see, I start asking questions, and everybody there said his name was Halstead. Al Halstead. Huh? Hi, fellas. Murph just told me about that guy he tailed. My guess is he's using an alias. But I got an idea how we can find out whether it was Halstead or Collins. Hey, what's the matter? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Everything's swell. And how's it with you, Johnson? What kind of a gag is this? And how's your old man, Chicago Joe? Look, I didn't come here for wisecracks. Did you find Collins or didn't you? We found a double-crossing dick and a stool pigeon's son. Did you find Collins? Because we haven't got any time to lose it. Plenty of time for what we have to do. Look, Tommy goes to the chair Friday. We gotta work fast. And you get yours right now. <laughs> Danny, listen to me. Collins are... Get him!
idea. We thought you was Bob. Yeah, we want to cool him off for good this time. You missed all the fun. You beat up on him? In spades. Where is he? Where did he go? Forget him. I gotta find him. He's on a level. What do you mean he's on the level? He's a detective's kid, ain't he? His old man sent Tommy up, didn't he? But you don't understand. Bob's old man ain't a detective anymore. He's pounding a beat now, a plain cop. Because he's trying to get Tommy free. Ah, hey, yo, wacky. Your That's a that. lot of my luck. I tell you, I went to Forty Avenue. I seen his old man in the uniform. I talked to him. He even showed me a letter from Tommy. A letter? Why didn't Tommy write him a letter? Thanking him for all he tried to do. Come on, I gotta find Bob. Jay, your brother's here to see you. Hello, kid. Hi, Tommy. Give me a light, will you? Tommy, you ain't nothing to get you. No, I'm doing fine. I'm swell. Where's Mom? Trying to see the governor. She won't. She can't. Why not? Because he's from Front Street, like me and you. Oh, Tommy. You forget what I told you already? No. Don't. Get out before your Front Street address turns into a number in your shirt, you hear me? Sure, Tommy. And quit looking at me like that. I'm not looking at you. You are. You're thinking Tommy ain't so tough no more. Tommy's going yellow. Oh, Tommy, I never said that. Well, you're right. I am yellow. Front Street taught me to act tough, to be proud of it, just like you. But since I've been in here, I know it's just an act. Something I wore on the outside of me, that's all. But, Tommy, it's... I used to think honest guys were dumb, and that I was smart, but I've changed my mind about that, too. And you better change yours. Just because you got a tough break? Every guy in this row knows it now. Uh, they, they fake being tough like I used to, but, but they're all watching that green door and counting the seconds, and their hands are sweaty, and their tongues are thick, and their insides are cold and crawly, just like me. I want to scream, but I can't. I, I want to claw these bars apart, but I can't. I want to smash my head against the wall to yell, to get down on my knees and pray, but I, I can't. I'd give my life for another chance. And that's a laugh, because I haven't any life left to give. <laughs> Tommy. Listen to me, Tommy. Me and the gang, my gang, we've been trying to square you. We spotted a guy who we think is Collins. Collins? You... you found Collins? We ain't sure. We've been watching him for three days. Where is he? Where did you find him? Sorry, Come time's up. Danny, you gotta tell me. Tell me. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Honest. Get Lewis. Detective Lewis, tell him. Come on, son. Goodbye, Tommy. Taking it. With his chin up. 
He's my brother, ain't he? Sure. He's a great guy, Bob. Ever since we was little. Did you tell him about our spot and that fellow we think is Collins? Yeah. He thinks something's come out of it, too. Something is. How can it? We ain't got no time left. Giving up, huh? No, we've covered horses for three days and nothing's happened. Well, nothing is gonna happen if you just sit there blubbering. We got work to do and we gotta do it fast or else... Or else the next time you come back, it'll be to claim Tommy's body. Come on, Danny. Where'd this come from? The kid brought it. I'll be back later. Well, Al, am I glad to see you? I was beginning to get the jumps. Why? You're perfectly safe. Yeah, I guess so, but I, I keep thinking of that shade going to the chair. That ought to make you feel better. Well, I don't. You said yourself he's the only one who could identify you as Collins. Look, Chick, I have been thinking things over. I want to blow out of town. He is Collins. You're better off here, Al. I'm not so sure. Don't forget you're the guy that got me into this mess. Come on, Chick. Give me the dough and I disappear tonight. You were paid for what you did. Yeah, but not enough. I got to lay it low for maybe a couple of months. I need more dough. So that's why you sent for me. To try and chisel me out of more money. Sent for you? I never sent for you. Huh? I thought you just happened to drop in here. Didn't you send a boy with a note? What boy? If I needed you, I would have phoned you, left a message for you. Sounds like the wire's been cut. Have you been out of the room? I want you to buy some smokes. Well, that's long enough. We're getting out of here. We'll use your car. No, we won't. Do you think I want to be picked up with you? If pick me up, they'll get you too, because I'll talk. Now, let go of me. All right, Al. Come on. Hey, quit talking. What's the matter? I don't know. See who it is. It's lost the heat beat. Now what? Now we pay a call on Collins. Telegram from Mr. Halstead. Hey. He's blew the joint. Yeah. Ducked out the back while we were coming in the front. Now we gotta find him all over again. No, we don't. There he is. Tommy's last chance. Maybe not, Danny. There's still Foster. What about Foster? He probably knows as much as Collins did, or even more. Yeah, but you can't get to him. Why not? Well, you know his hangout that Mobby has around him. He could stand off half the police force. There's an idea. 
We tips off the cops that Foster murdered Collins or Allstead or whatever his name is and let them make a rest for him. And he refused to talk. It'll be weeks before he's trial. And Tommy's time's up tonight. Now, we gotta get Foster to come out to us. Got any idea how? Maybe I have. Halstead was only stabbed once. He could have lived long enough to talk. Yeah, but he didn't. Who knows he didn't? All of us. Yeah, all of us, but nobody else. Chick Foster doesn't know it. Fellas, that's it. Now listen. Push over. Up you go, Monk. Give him a hand, Danny. Right. You good for this much? You always have been. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Tommy Shea was saved in the electric chair tonight by the partial confession of a seriously wounded man identified as Al Halstead. Police found Halstead alone in his apartment. He had been stabbed in the back by an unknown assailant, the knife blade narrowly missing his heart. Weakened from loss of blood, Halstead gasped, Tommy Shea is innocent. I help framing. The real killer is... That was all. For Halstead had slipped into a coma. The police are anxiously awaiting for him to regain consciousness and complete his dramatic confession. We now return you to your regular program. How'd you take it? Like a double hot foot. All right. We're getting the rest of the business. Grab the papers and get going. Yes, I'm running down to the 50 place. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Taxi. Where to? Union Station. That's right. Say, it's okay, Uncle Louie. We won't hurt your cab. Take it a publicity you'll get. Thanks a million, kid. Hello, Mickey. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. We're gonna find Danny Shea. Well, if you're gonna arrest him, I don't know. Oh, it isn't a pinch. My boy didn't come home to dinner tonight, and I had a hunch he might be with Danny. Oh, I see that. I think you'll find him down the Cook's junkyard. The boy's got the clubhouse down there. Well, thank you, Mickey. Okay, good night, Lieutenant. Good night. Get it right, Foster. You better save yourself a lot of trouble and talk right now. You knew that Carnotti of the Lawrence and Oz killing. You wanted Carson out of your way, but you needed a fall guy. You had Hall said plain tongue. If you know so much, why don't you turn me over to the cops? They might not be able to make you talk, but we can. You're going to get yours anyway for murdering Collins. We heard everything you and Collins said. We saw you leave his house. We took this knife of yours out of his back. And there's nothing I'd like better than to stick it in yours. Danny, lay off. Nothing doing. I'm Tommy Shea's brother. And if you don't start talking... Danny! Are you wasting time? Give me five minutes alone with you. I'll make him talk. How's the water, sailor? Boiling. Okay, bring it here. Get him ready. You see that, Foster? Want to talk? You let me go or I'll get every one of you kids later. Okay, Danny. Bob. Dad, what are you doing? Crazy. You can't torture that man. We aren't going to. I'll say you're not. Wait a minute, Dad. We're just going to bluff him. Bluff him? Yeah. With this ice. Oh. I see. Good luck. All set, Bob. Last chance, Foster. I'll give you five to start talking. One, two, three, four, five. Dip it. Oh. That's just a sample. Next time we'll hold it there. Now, who killed Lieutenant Carson? One, two, three, four. All right, all right. I'll tell you. Foster did. He killed Carson with Shea's gun. Who planned it? Holster did. He planned it all. Give his foot in again. No, 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 no. I was lying. I planned it. Holster helped, but I did it all. Need any more than that, Dad? Oh, that's plenty. Is that enough to save Tommy? Yeah, ain't enough to put this fellow in his whole mob where they belong. Okay, fellas. Let the big shot see where he put his foot in. Ice water. I always did think you smart guys had cold feet. Look, here they come. Fellas, here they are. Welcome home, Tommy. Good to see you back. Look at me. Well, Tommy. How did they feed you up there? Oh, uh, Lieutenant, there's a lot of things I want to say to you. Forget it. Tell it to the boys. Yeah, I, I have got a lot to square up with them. Thanks a lot, fellas. Oh, oh, well, right, Tommy. Sure. well, I gotta get going. Good luck to you, Tommy. Thanks again for everything. So long, boys. So long. So long. Well, where do you think you're going? Home, I guess. You you said you didn't want me hanging around here. I'll go on. The people have to tell you where to hang out. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So long, sir. Bye, Dad. So long, Bob. See you later, kid. Goodbye. Oh, Bye. What are you fellas going to do? Go down to the hangout. Come along? Sure. Hey, Look. Hey, you. You 
You can't get away with that kind of stuff around here. What do you think you are, a cop? Tell him, Rob. This is Front Street, not Wall Street. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, now listen, you guys come out one time, huh? Come on, yeah. Good morning, officer. How are you today? Fine. How are you? Family. What's How are you? 